In today's video, I will teach you how to use the free transform tool in PhotoP. Let's get started. In the Layers panel on the right side of the screen, click on the layer that you want to transform. This could be an image, shape, or text layer. Now go to Edit, then Free Transform, or simply press Ctrl T or Command T on Mac on your keyboard. You will see a bounding box with handles around the selected object, which you can use to transform the object. Now you can use the Free Transform tool to scale, rotate, and move the object. To resize the object, click and drag any of the corner handles. Then drag the side handles to stretch or compress the object horizontally or vertically. Now, move your cursor slightly outside any corner handle until it changes to a curved arrow. Then click and drag to rotate the object. Then hold the shift key to snap the rotation to 50 degree increments for precise angles. Now click and drag inside the bounding box to reposition the object on your canvas. You can also skew, distort, and do perspective transform using the free transform tool. To skew, simply right-click or control-click on Mac within the bounding box and choose skew. Then drag the side handles to skew the object horizontally or vertically. Now right-click and choose Distort. Then drag the corner handles to distort the object freely. This lets you change the shape by stretching it in different directions. Now right-click again and choose Perspective. Then drag the corner handles to give the object a perspective effect. For example, you can make it look like it's receding into the distance. An optional step is warping the object. Simply right-click within the bounding box and choose Warp. Then you'll see a grid over your object, and you can drag the grid lines to bend and curve the object. This is especially useful for text or shapes that you want to fit onto a curved surface. And once you're happy with the transformation, simply press Enter to apply the changes. And if you want to cancel the transformation, simply press Escape. Now keep in mind when scaling images, be careful not to enlarge them too much as this can cause pixelation and a loss of quality. And you can also convert your layer to a smart object before using Presense Form so you can scale down and back up without losing quality. By mastering these features, you can enhance your designs, create dynamic layouts, and fine-tune elements to fit your creative vision. And with these steps, you're all set to use the Free Transform tool effectively in PhotoP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.